When studying for your first certification exam, it's easy to get overwhelmed and fatigued. Hi, I'm Ronnie Wong, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'm going to share with you my five tips for avoiding exam study fatigue. All right, so here's tip number one. You want to make sure that you start with the exam objectives, okay? And what I mean by that, go ahead and download from well, whatever vendor that you're actually taking. They'll have a copy of the exam objectives for you. Make sure you download them. I recommend that you print them out. And that way you can identify and prioritize the topics in a way that's really going to help you to study effectively with them. So once I've printed out these exam objectives, I go ahead and I take a pen and I mark the different topics that I feel confident with with a plus sign. Then I go back through, if I'm not sure, and I mark the ones that I don't feel confident with with a minus sign. That allows me to identify those topics that I really do not feel confident in, and that allows me to move on to my second tip that I need to, okay? Now, once we do this, we want to identify essentially three topics here. Now, what I mean by identifying those three topics is simple. Don't study three hard topics in a row. My recommendation is this, is that you find one topic that you really need to focus in on, and then you actually take two other topics that you might be more familiar with. So that way you're actually able to study something or you're able to review something okay, that you're actually familiar with. Take the time in the middle there to study something that you're really finding difficulty in and then end with a nice review topic. And that way your study session that you actually have, I actually feel like you did a winning study session each time you've done something because you'll win at least with those review sessions if nothing else. All right, so my third particular tip is make sure that when we do this, that we also don't overstudy. Now, what do I mean by overstudying? Overstudying will help to fatigue you much faster. So break it down into, well, 90 minute study sessions. Now you can do as many study sessions as you want per day, but by using those three topics in the arrangement that I've told you, make it that way, 90 minutes, and you can actually divide up the time however you want to. So you might spend 20 minutes studying for a, a review, okay? You might spend a good you know, hour actually studying for the harder topic that you have, maybe 10 minutes for studying for another review topic if you need to. But by keeping that, it actually keeps those 90 minute blocks and once you do those 90 minute blocks, now that leads me to my fourth particular uh, favorite tip that I have, which is gonna be take breaks. Now when I say take a break, what I mean is 15 minutes at the max. And I mean it's just a break. Now in that break time, you want to make sure that you do some type of snack in between. That will bring your blood sugar level up, it will allow you to continue through maybe the other study sessions that you have in place, but do 90 minute blocks, do a maximum of a 15 minute break. Any longer than that, you won't want to come back to it. Now, once we're actually done with that, we want to make sure that we focus study, okay? Now, what do I mean by focus study in terms of my fifth tip here, okay? If you're not sure how a topic is actually coming in your mind, to actually you pull all that stuff in is that you want to make sure that you go ahead and you begin to ask questions about the topic and that what you're looking for are answers for that topic. Now whether that's you looking in a textbook or whether that's you searching on the internet, but make sure you actually write down questions that you need and then try and find the answers to those questions as well. Once you're done with that, you'll also of course review your study and ask if you actually covered those questions, you answered those questions in the way that you need to. So overall though, that's kind of the five different tips that I can actually ensure that will help you overcome the exam study fatigue that you're more than likely gonna face. So what are some of your tips for avoiding exam study fatigue? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe for new episodes of How to Get Started in IT every week. I'm Ronnie Wong and I'll see you next time.